It seems the whole world now knows Neda and aches for her. And why not? It watched her die. On Facebook, a page dedicated to her memory, amid pictures of a woman who may be Neda in life. There were messages, too, filled with outrage, like this one, that was murder, and this, shame on the man who killed you. It is unbearable. Asar Nafizi, who wrote Reading Lolita in Tehran, says the way Neda died means there's no turning back for Iran. Neda being silenced is now becoming the voice of all those other Iranian women and men who over the past 30 years have been fighting for their freedoms. It's difficult to say right now, though, if this image of Neda will change everything. We know that pictures sometimes do. Many believe this shot taken at Kent State of a student gunned down after a Vietnam War protest helped end the war. Yet this video of a lone student standing up to Chinese tanks did not end communism in China. This image, this video, because it's so graphic, so powerful, and it really illustrates in a way that words can't, and even still pictures can't, the pain and suffering and the willingness to sacrifice and put her life on the line. Because some say Netta defines who is protesting. According to her fiancé, she was a philosophy and music student, 26 years old, standing near her music teacher and modestly dressed. She did not act aggressively. In fact, her fiancé told us she did not vote. But friends told the L.A. Times she was upset at the election process. Netta's death has further galvanized women in Iran. One young woman calling into CNN from Iran shared this with us. This old woman uh, said to the uh, forces, uh, didn't you kill Neda? We are all uh, Nedas today. We don't let that happen again. Leading image or tipping point? Another sign Neda's death is rocking Iran. We have unconfirmed reports that 10,000 showed up at Hafti Square because they'd heard there was a memorial service. Police sent them away. Neda's fiance told us the military did tell Neda's family they could not have a memorial service. So she was buried at a cemetery, the only people attending her immediate family. Carol Costello, CNN, Washington.